my name is Emma and today for Mental Illness Awareness Week, I'm going to be talking about some books about mental health that are currently on my TBR. Like I said, I'm not doing this whole thing as a readathon. I'm just generally trying to implement more mental health books into my regular reading and make a whole week of videos just talking about those books. So this isn't like what I'm trying to aim to read this week specifically. These are just books that I have come across in the past but haven't got to reading yet that have to do with the scope of mental health that I'm really looking forward to reading. And of course, this is not a complete list by any means. There are so many books out there that are still on my TBR that I don't even know about about mental health that I am really excited to read, but these are just a select few that are kind of more prominent in my mind and what I think I will pick up sooner. The first book on my list is Winter Girls by Lori Hulse Anderson. Winter Girls follows these two friends that are both suffering from anorexia and kind of in a competition to see who can be the skinniest. I'm not entirely sure about this, obviously because I haven't read the book yet, but it states in the synopsis that one of the girls, Cassie, succumbs to the demon within and it says that her friend Leah is haunted by her restless spirit, which makes me think that this is about a girl who has actually died as a result of anorexia. And so most of the story follows Leah as she is suffering from anorexia and possibly entering recovery. I am really looking forward to reading more books about anorexia specifically as somebody who has suffered from anorexia, somebody who is looking to specialize in eating disorders. I'm really interested in finding more about the disorder through a fictional lens. I think it's really important that there's a character in this book who may die as a result of anorexia because it is a very fatal disease and it's not something that I frequently see in the media. So Wonder Girls is definitely on the top of my TV it has been recommended to me so many times and I am super excited to get to it. The next book I have for you guys is The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. This is a book I was actually gifted by Monica from She Might Be Monica for my birthday and I'm still super appreciative she sent it to me because it is a book that I have been dying to read. So this book takes place in a world where the majority of people have superpowers but it focuses on the groups of people that don't and are just the regular people living in this magical world. Despite that being all I can really gather from the synopsis, I am told almost every single time I pick up this book that there is an overlying mental health theme. I'm not entirely sure what disorders are expressed in this book. To me, I can only assume it may have something to do with depression or anxiety because all of these people are left kind of on the edges of society because they're not special enough and so I feel like that would be a very reasonable disorder to manifest in this story but I am really excited to read this book specifically because it has a mental health theme but it isn't like a regular story about one person dealing with a disorder it takes place in a more fantasy like world because people have superpowers obviously in real life people do not have superpowers at least to our knowledge and in books like fantasy and sci-fi we don't get a lot of mental health representation so I'm very excited to read this book for that specific aspect. Next on my list is 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. So this book is about a girl who commits suicide and basically her best friend comes across these tapes that she has left for him before she passed. Apparently according to Clay's friend Hannah he is some way responsible for her death and the way this book is always described to me it's basically the 13 reasons why she killed herself. I have heard fantastic things about this book. Almost anyone that I've talked to about 13 Reasons Why say they absolutely loved it. I remember I picked it up in Barnes and Noble once just to look at the book and in employee stopped me and was like that is one of my favorite books of all time. I think what's interesting about this book is it's not the main character who is suffering from this illness although one could totally develop after going through this experience but it's about him grieving and going through the emotions of having somebody very close to him commit suicide and suffer from depression and I think that's really important I mean for every person that commits suicide there are hundreds of people in their lives that are going to be affected by their death and we don't normally get exposed to that unless we're the person experiencing that kind of grief I think this book is just going to be such an emotional read and I can really feel like I'm already going to love it the next book on my mental illness TBR is it's kind of a funny story by Ned Vizzini this is the story of a boy named Craig who moves to New York to enter a pre-professional executive high school basically to get him a better job in the future. Very quickly Craig becomes extremely overwhelmed with all the different changes in his life and his new workload which pushes him to attempt suicide and inevitably lands him in a psychiatric hospital. So the story is all about Craig's time spent in the hospital and all the different people he meets like a sex addict and a self-harmer. And one thing that I'm super excited about concerning this book that I literally didn't even know until a few moments ago when I read the synopsis for this video was that the author Ned Vizzini actually spent time in a psychiatric hospital himself. I don't think I have ever read a mental health book about somebody who has suffered from a mental illness and so I am just really really excited to read this book. I personally have spent time in a psych hospital myself and so I know how much of an impact that kind of environment can have on you and the positives and the negatives so I am super excited to see them expressed through this book. This is another one that is like highly acclaimed by readers. Everyone who has read it loved it and I am really really looking forward to 
compiling my thoughts on this book. The next book on my list is Faking Normal by Courtney C. Stevens. So this is a story of a girl named Alexi who has gone through a very traumatic event over the last summer and self-harms as a result of it. The boy next door, Bodhi, comes to live with Alexi's family for the summer and this kind of unlikely friendship arises between the two of them. Through this experience of living together and becoming friends, they kind of help each other in certain ways, helping Alexi come to terms with what happened and Bodhi deal with his own secrets. And so while the synopsis is pretty vague and I don't really know much about it, I have heard nothing but great things about this book. This is another book that a lot of people talk about concerning mental health and while I don't know much about it, it is high up on my TBR and I'm really interested to see what I think of it. Next book on my list is Tiny Pretty Things by Sona Shari Portra and Danielle Clayton. This is another book that was sent to me for my birthday from the lovely Michael Book Lion because Michael had been talking about this book a lot because he felt it was really up my alley. So he got it for me and I'm super excited to read it. Tiny Pretty Things is a story of three girls who enter a ballet academy. The mental health aspects of this book come into play when one of the girls suffers from an eating disorder and as a dancer, I've been dancing since I was two years old and have suffered from an eating disorder, this book definitely sounds like it's going to be a great one for me. I'm not entirely sure how much of a role mental health plays in here because we do have three main protagonists, but I have heard fantastic things about this story and I know that there's a sequel and so I am really excited to read this one as well. And the final book for my mental on this TBR is My Sister Rosa by Justine Labaristier. This is a story of two Australian kids named Che and Rosa who are siblings and after living for some time in Bangkok, their parents are moving them to New York City. So what I love about this book is Che is very concerned that his sister Rosa is a diagnosable psychopath. According to Che, Rosa has a sticky past of making people do dangerous things, hurting things. Basically, this girl just stirs up trouble at every chance and Che thinks it's a lot more than just a child acting out. For all this time, Che's parents have been brushing off all of Rosa's previous actions, but in a new city, Che is very worried that Rosa's dangerous capabilities are really going to flourish, so it's all about him trying to protect the world from Rosa and protect Rosa from the world. What I love about this book is we get a glimpse into psychopathy. I am seriously interested in psychopathy and sociopathy. I am extremely interested in psychopathy. I have been studying serial killers on my own since I was like 13 and I've been doing it in school now. It is honestly one of the most fascinating mental disorders to me. And this is something that is not portrayed in any light other than villainous characters in the media. We never have a person who's a psychopath. It's always this innate evil, which is totally not true. What makes it even more interesting to me is Rosa is a child. She's not an adult. And so I think it's going to give us a very interesting glimpse into what psychopathy is really like. I have such high hopes for this book. Since I got it at BEA, I have just been over the moon wanting to read it. It is super, super high up on my TBR, and I really cannot wait to read it. Alrighty, so those are currently the books that are on my TBR as for mental health books. Like I said, there are so many more out there that I need to read and so many that I don't even know about that I'm going to want to read in the future, but these are just a few that I am super interested at the moment and I'm planning on picking up very soon. Because yesterday I gave you some mental health book recommendations, I would love some in the comments of this video, so please leave me a comment with your favorite mental illness book and I will definitely look into picking it up. And of course, don't forget to enter my massive mental illness book giveaway where all of the guidelines and everything you need to know about that is in the description of this video. But that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you soon for a new video. Bye!